In this tutorial, we'll see how to use Ansible Vault for protecting sensitive data. Ansible Vault primarily protects two types of data. One is file. So Ansible Vault can encrypt a file which contains any types of data. We'll be usually using while loading the variables or calling the group bars. We'll see this option when we look into how to encrypt a complete file using Ansible Vault. Then a single variable which contains in a particular variable file for example here we will try to encrypt this particular data ansible password and ansible user so these are the two types of data which ansible can encrypt and ansible vault only protects data at rest that means when you are storing the data that time it can protect but during the execution of playbook ansible will be decrypting the data and play and plugin authors are responsible for avoiding any secret disclosure that means during the execution ansible will decrypt the data so that time we need to make sure we are not printing any of the sensitive information in the playbook later we'll see how to use no log true for hiding the sensitive data while running the playbooks here one more thing to remember is INA format does not support inline vaults. This is one example of inline vaults. So this is supported only in the YAML format inventory. For example, here in this particular inventory file, we can see we have two variables, Ansible user and Ansible password. We'll try to protect this. It is not supported in this formatted inventory file. Now we'll check ansible vault command. I'll give ansible hyphen vault hyphen h and ansible vault will be by default available with ansible installation. We can see multiple options here. Create, decrypt, edit, view, rekey. All these are related to files we can create edit view and even we can generate a new key using all these options first we will take a look into encrypt print so we'll try to encrypt a particular variable in this file so here i'll give ansible vault and encrypt underscore print and i'll give the password directly here this word so it is prompting for a vault password i'll give abcd enter and here we are getting the encrypted content either we can generate it like this or we can even give the hyphen hyphen name and a variable name so first we'll try without the variable name i will copy this content and put it here save it and we'll try running the playbook ansible playbook and the directory playbook directory is 03 will give 03 and then the file name is 01 hyphen i inventory and inventory file name is disco underscore inventory ssh key without any password i'll enter so now you can see here is not able to decrypt the vault because i'm not giving any password so ansible hyphen playbook will give hyphen h here and here we'll be able to see the vault password option so we can give hyphen hyphen ask vault password so we'll give this option I 
I'll paste it and enter. I'll give the password ABCD. So this is able to connect to the device. And we can even use same data for Ansible user as well because both are admin, admin, or we can generate a new password. Again, if I give, I'll give same encryption key. Copy this. Paste it here. Save it. And we'll try running this again. Since both are same text, we can even use same data in both places. Copy this. Put it here. Save it and we will try running. So this is running. Now we'll see how to generate it with the variable name so here we are giving encrypt string admin and i'll give hyphen hyphen name then ansible user i'll give same password and now we are getting with the key so this is going to be the variable name and without that if we execute the variable name won't be there that is one difference now we can try adding this particular encrypted data copy this Paste it here. We need to fix the indentation. Save it. I will try running the playbook again. So, still, this is running successfully. Now, imagine if you want to use separate encryption key for each password, what we can do? We can use vault id we'll go to the documentation and this is one example with vault id so here vault id is my underscore user and either we can prompt for the password or you can keep the password in a separate file we will be giving the option prompt i'll go to the terminal I'll give Ansible vault and encrypt underscore string. The password is going to be admin. Then I'll give hyphen hyphen vault hyphen ID and we can give a name for vault ID. I will call this VID. Then at the rate prompt then space hyphen hyphen name the variable name is going to be ansible user so here i'm going to create a vault id vid i'll call this vid1 and this will be prompting for the password press enter there is a typo in the command. I will fix that. Ansible vault ID. Enter. So this is prompting for the vault ID password. This time I'll give one, two, three, four. And from the password. So we got a password for Ansible user. Copy this. it 
paste it here then for the next variable we will call this vid2 and the string is going to be same here and this one is ansible password enter and for this i will use 2345 2345 copy this i will replace that so now we are using different password for each variable save the file now we'll try to run the playbook with ask what password but it will fail i'll give one two three four it will fail because this is not able to decrypt because now we have two vault ids here and we need to pass the password separately for that what we can do here ansible playbook we are giving the playbook name then instead of ask password we need to pass the vault id hyphen hyphen vault hyphen id space v id one at prompt copy this space and v id center so now this will be prompting for both vault passwords so vid1 password is 1234 vid2 password is 2345 so in this way we can use different password for each variable now instead of this prompt even we can give the file name we can see one example here go to the documentation we can give the file location so before that we need to have a file with the password stored now we'll see that option i'll go to vs code Here inside inventory, I'll create two files vid one underscore pass and it is one, two, three, four. New file vid two underscore pass and two, three, four, five. Save the file. then here we'll give dot slash inventory slash vid one underscore pass copy this instead of prompt will give the file location so this is going to be vid2 enter in this way we can even pass the encryption key from a file in the next tutorial, we'll see how to use Ansible Vault for encrypting the files.